So my full name is Banele Caroline mm -hmm. Lukele, um, what they call Christian name. Yes. Um, so for me, my first name is enough. I'm the last born of four children. So my parents were not trying to be vague, like Guanele, boys, Zanele, girl. No, they were like, enough. It's, we're done, you know. And I think that largely speaks to my personality because I am very much a, you know, a lot of my sentences have full stops. And if you hear a lot of my interviews, I'll say this is a full stop, not an ellipsis or a question mark, you know. This is what I'm saying. And so I think that's how my first name really manifested into who I am. My second name is actually taken from my grandmother. So I was named after my grandmother. I don't know what the English meaning of it is, but the meaning that I put to Caroline are all the characteristics of my grandmother. Resilient, leadership, um, she's feisty. Oh, my granny. <laughs> my granny is very feisty. And I think I took that from her. Um, and I think she also allowed me to embody that. And then Lukele is my, my family name from my father's side. And it's a Swati name, which basically comes from a narrative speaking about the guardian or the keeper of a village or of a large house. And so the family itself and from my grandfather to my father and to some extent me now, generally Lukele's are advisors of and in Swaziland, the Lukelas would be the advisors of the king's family or royalty. And so the name then manifests in, in what most of us do. The older I got and the more that I developed a relationship with my father and really understanding what drives him, consciously or subconsciously, I saw the depth of the family name and my father being a father of four daughters and the grandfather of a granddaughter, um, you know, in the Christian belief, we would take our husband's surnames. So it was already standard that at some point, Lukela is going to fall away from our family tree. And so I thought, you know what, let me take the first bit of the name because people are then inclined to ask, why is your company named Look Arts? Because it's not a conventional name and it's not the standard spelling of look, you know. And so then I could explain the, the history behind my father's surname. And in essence, we do advise people. We advise people on how to, what is their best practice of learning, you know? And the ideal dream of Look Arts is for us to be at the forefront of policy development and changing education. And so we would be advising within the space that the name itself places us, you know? And it almost feels like I couldn't get away from it. There's so much weight that comes into even an English name that comes into an African name. And I always even say to parents, like if I have a parent who's pregnant, I'm like, please even just choose the nicknames, go as far as what they could potentially be called at work, because this really will define, you know, who this person is. Um, the names are so important because what you can put to your name is like the title of a book. It's like the title of a cover. It's the first thing that anybody's ever going to know about you. When you're submitting a CV, it's curriculum data of somebody, right? And so for me, names weigh a lot. And it might not necessarily be the historical weighing of it. It might be what you put to it. And so even when I tell people my second name is Caroline, they're like, oh, you still use your Christian name, you know? Aren't you conscious? Oh, I guess I am conscious because Caroline means whatever it means to the Western world. But for me, it's resilience. It's the mirror image of my grandmother. It's where I want to be when I'm 80 something, you know. And so for me, names are very, very important and they determine where you're going to go in life.